Beetlejuice, hanging out on Orion's shoulder, is one of the most interesting things happening in space. It's a red supergiant star nearing the end of its life. As early as 2019, this bright star started getting noticeably dimmer, even to the naked eye. It stayed dim for months, and a lot of people wondered if it was about to die. When researchers pointed their telescopes at it, they saw hints that Betelgeuse might be about to become a supernova. So, it could be ending its life with a bang. But when will this happen, and could it mess with Earth? This red star sits on Orion the Hunter's upper right shoulder. It's also known as Alpha Orionis. It's the second brightest star in Orion, after Rigel, but it still grabs attention because it's huge and has a reddish color. Plus, it's got a cool name. Alpha stars are usually the brightest in their constellations, but Betelgeuse is more popular because of its size and color. Betelgeuse is one of the most famous stars. You can spot it in North America, Europe, and Canada. Its name comes from Arabic and means armpit of the giant, referring to its place in the constellation. Betelgeuse throws off about one solar mass every 10,000 years, releasing stuff in all directions and making a nebula around it. This nebula is big, 30 times the distance between Earth and the Sun and much bigger than the star itself. At the core of it, hydrogen atoms are pushed together to make helium, which gives off energy and heat. As the hydrogen runs out, it starts using helium and then carbon. When the helium's gone, neon and carbon join to make iron. But iron fusion doesn't make energy, so the star collapses and explodes as a supernova. These are some of the biggest explosions in the universe. Stars shine in different colors depending on their age. Young stars are blue, and old ones are red. An old stargazer named Tommy said Betelgeuse was ready. But Chinese astronomers thought it looked yellow, which means it might have been a yellow supergiant back then. Big stars burn through their hydrogen fast, so they die young, even if young means only 10 million years. Betelgeuse is definitely in its final stage. Our sun has billions of years left, but Betelgeuse is getting close to the end, so it might explode someday. Betelgeuse has two cycles of getting brighter and dimmer. One happens every five years and lasts about 100 days. People think the swelling and shrinking of its outer layers caused these changes in size and temp. Everyone got excited about Betelgeuse when it acted weird in 2019 and 2020. It got really dim and then got brighter again. Some scientists think this could mean the star is about to change a lot. After checking records back to the first century BC, the reason for the dimming is still a puzzle. Betelgeuse is zipping through space at about 30 kilometers per second after being thrown out of its birthplace in Orion OB1. The resulting bow shock stretches past four light years. It's hard to measure how far away red supergiants like Betelgeuse are. Also, because it's a pulsating star, its size changes over time. This, along with the dimming of its outer edge, makes its color shift. Plus, the stuff it throws off affects how we see its brightness. Looking at Betelgeuse is tricky because its size seems to change depending on the light we use. These measurements can vary a lot based on the light spectrum. Back in 2009, the European Southern Observatory showed pictures from the Very Large Telescope, VLT, that showed a huge plume of gas stretching way out from the star. These outflows might give us clues about how stars lose mass as they die, which could be key to their destruction. The processes in Betelgeuse's upper layers are still confusing, and we don't know exactly how red supergiants lose stuff. These stars are important for spreading elements around galaxies, so advances in how we study them could give us answers. In 2019, scientists used the Hubble Space Telescope and other tools to find that Betelgeuse had blown off a big chunk of its outer shell. The Sun does this too, but Betelgeuse's events are way bigger, throwing out material 400 billion times the mass of a solar eruption. That's why Betelgeuse got so dim in October 2019. By mid-February 2020, it had lost almost three times its brightness. But the recent dimming wasn't because the core was collapsing since there weren't any big changes in infrared. If Betelgeuse becomes a supernova, it will be one of the most awesome things we've ever seen. Even from 640 light years away, it'll be super bright, maybe brighter than the full moon, and you might even see it during the day for weeks or months. 
Experts think this supernova will release more energy in seconds than our sun will in 10 billion years. Don't worry, even though a supernova sounds scary, Betelgeuse is far enough away that it won't hurt Earth. But it will be an amazing thing for scientists to study and a cool event to watch. Betelgeuse is back to its normal brightness, but its weird dimming is still being watched closely. Scientists are using the James Webb Space Telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, and other tools to track light changes, convection patterns, and mass outflows that show the stars unstable. One idea is that Betelgeuse's big dimming was caused by a huge cloud of dust that came from the star itself, which blocked the light from our view. By understanding Betelgeuse, astronomers can figure out the life stages of giant stars, especially those about to become supernovas. This could help us guess similar events in other galaxies, explain how elements fill space, and describe how elements like iron and gold are formed and spread. Betelgeuse is like a ticking clock. It might explode soon or in 100,000 years. Whenever it happens, it'll be an awesome sight and give us a ton of new info. Understanding stars like Betelgeuse is important. Big stars are where heavy elements are made. When these stars die and explode, they send these elements into space, enriching clouds that form new stars, planets, and even life. Betelgeuse's supernova is a good chance to study this up close. Most supernovas we see are far away, so we can't get much detail. But Betelgeuse is in our galaxy and relatively close, so we could watch every step of the explosion. This is inspiring for those studying neutrinos and gravitational waves. When a star collapses into a supernova, it sends out lots of neutrinos and might make ripples in space. If Betelgeuse explodes, detectors could catch this data and give us new insight into stars and the basic forces of the universe. Astronomers are watching Betelgeuse for its possible death and for what it can teach us about stars. Red supergiants are still not fully understood. They're big, unstable, and hard to model. New telescopes and better spectroscopy are helping, but there are still questions that Betelgeuse might answer soon. In the meantime, Betelgeuse keeps changing. Scientists are ready to capture every change if it becomes a supernova. The data could change how we understand stars. Until then, Betelgeuse will be a focus in the sky and in the minds of astronomers a cool thing to watch and a cosmic countdown. It's one of the most famous stars you can see at night. Its name comes from Arabic, meaning armpit of the giant, because of where it sits in the constellation. Betelgeuse throws off a lot of stuff, about one solar mass every 10,000 years. This creates a nebula around it that's way bigger than the distance between Earth and the Sun and way bigger than the star itself. At its core, Betelgeuse smashes hydrogen atoms together to make helium, which releases energy. When it runs out of hydrogen, it starts using helium and carbon. When the helium's gone, it uses neon and carbon to make iron. But iron fusion doesn't make energy, so the star collapses and explodes as a supernova. These explosions are some of the most powerful things in the universe. Stars shine in different colors depending on how old they are. Old stargazers said had a ruddy hue. But old Chinese astronomers thought Betelgeuse looked yellow, which means it might have been a yellow star once. Big stars burn through their fuel fast, so they die young maybe after only 10 million years. Betelgeuse is definitely in its final stages. Our sun has billions of years left, but Betelgeuse could blow any day now. The exact timing is a mystery. Betelgeuse has these cycles of getting brighter and dimmer. One happens every 420 days or so, because its outer layers swell and shrink. This makes its size and surface temperature change. People got really interested when Betelgeuse acted weird in 2019 and 2020, fading a lot before getting brighter again. Some think this could mean the star is about to change big time. People have been studying it for ages, but nobody knows for sure why it dimmed. Betelgeuse is moving fast through space, and it left the area where it was born. Its speed is about 30 kilometers per second, measuring stars like Betelgeuse is hard. It pulsates, changes changing its outer edge, which also changes its color. The stuff the star spits out also affects how we see it. It's also tricky because its visible size changes with the light we're observing by as much as 
Back in 2009, the European Southern Observatory showed pictures of this huge plume of gas coming off Betelgeuse, stretching way out from the star. There have been other events like that. These might give us clues as to how big stars lose mass before they die which could be key to understanding how they explode. The processes inside Betelgeuse's outer layers are still confusing, and we don't really know how these stars get rid of stuff, their outer matter. These stars are important for spreading elements around galaxies, and new technologies are helping us figure things out. In 2019, scientists saw that Betelgeuse had blown off a big piece of its outer shell. The sun does this too, but Betelgeuse's event was way bigger. That would explain why Betelgeuse got so dim, losing nearly three times its brightness by early 2020. But the recent dimming wasn't from the core collapsing, because there were no changes in infrared radiation. When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, it'll be amazing. Even though it's far away, the blast will be super bright, maybe brighter than the full moon and visible during the day for weeks or months. The explosion will release a ton of energy. Don't worry though, we're safe. Betelgeuse is far enough away that the explosion won't hurt Earth. But it will be a great thing for scientists to study. Betelgeuse is back to its normal brightness now, but people are still watching its patterns. Scientists are using telescopes to track changes on its surface, patterns in how its energy moves around, and the constant outflow of stuff. People will have to find another word. One popular idea is that the dimming was caused by a big cloud of dust blocking the light from our point of view. Understanding Betelgeuse could help us understand the lives of other big stars, especially those about to explode. It could help us figure out what's going to happen in other galaxies, how elements get spread around, and how things like iron and gold end up all over space. Betelgeuse is like a ticking time bomb. It could blow tomorrow, next year, or in thousands of years. Whenever it happens, it'll be an awesome show and give us a ton of information. Knowing about stars like Betelgeuse helps us understand the universe itself. Big stars make heavy elements. When they explode, they spread those elements around, which become the building blocks for new stars, planets, and even life. Betelgeuse's explosion will let us study this up close. Most supernovas we see are far away, but Betelgeuse is in our own galaxy and relatively nearby. Scientists could watch every step of the explosion in detail. This is interesting for people studying neutrinos and gravity, too. When a star collapses, it releases lots of neutrinos and might even cause ripples in space. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, detectors could catch this data and teach us more about stars and the forces of the universe. Plus, Betelgeuse can teach us about how stars act in general. Red supergiants are still a mystery. They're huge, unstable, and hard to understand. New telescopes are helping, but we still have lots of questions. Betelgeuse might answer some of them. For now, Betelgeuse keeps flickering and surprising us. Its brightness seems steady, but scientists are ready to capture the moment of supernova. What we learn could change how we understand the life and death of stars. Until explosion comes whether tomorrow or in a long time Betelgeuse will stay front and center and an inspiration to people everywhere. It's a beautiful thing and a countdown at the same time.